In the swirling vortex of controversy surrounding marine wildlife in captivity, one creature rises above the rest. The orca, magnificent, intelligent and awe-inspiring. These giants, also known as killer whales, have ignited a fierce debate that resonates with experts and the public alike regarding their confinement by humans. Our story begins in the year 1961. This marked the onset of a trend that would see these majestic creatures torn from their families and thrust into artificial social groupings, a far cry from their natural existence in the vast expanses of the ocean. The first captive orca to be put on display was Moby Doll, captured in 1964, serving as a grim herald of what was to come. The fight to liberate these captive beasts has been long and hard. Cases like Keiko, the orca who shot to fame with the film Free Willy, have sparked hope. Keiko was eventually released into a seaside sanctuary, a small victory in the battle for their freedom. The documentary Blackfish has served as a beacon in this struggle, illuminating the plight of captive orcas and stirring a growing discomfort with the idea of their confinement. Critics of orca captivity underscore the animal's intelligence, intricate social structures and the vast distances they cover in the wild. In stark contrast, Captive orcas often show signs of stress and suffer from health complications due to their confinement. However, the debate isn't one-sided. Some argue that well-managed facilities can aid in research and education. This viewpoint, though, is increasingly under fire from animal welfare advocates. The prospect of liberating all captive orcas is a tangled web. Some orcas might be viable candidates for release into the wild or seaside sanctuaries, but others long subjected to captivity, may struggle to adapt to life outside of human care. Legislation in regions like Canada and California is turning the tide, prohibiting new facilities from capturing or displaying orcas. More and more sanctuaries are being established to provide these creatures with a home that mirrors their natural habitats. Although the path to total freedom for all captive orcas may not be immediate, we see a clear shift towards condemning their captivity and striving to create environments that are more akin to their natural homes. The future of orcas in captivity teeters on a precipice, poised to evolve as public sentiment shifts and focus intensifies on their welfare and conservation. This journey, from the first captive orca in 1964 to the current state of affairs, serves as a reminder of our responsibilities. The debate surrounding orcas in captivity is complex, emotional and far from over. But as we continue to grapple with these issues, one thing is clear. The welfare and conservation of these magnificent creatures must always take centre stage. 